Alright, so I'm down where I first found the bedrock, and I kind of just kept digging around it to see what I might find. Ended up going a little deeper, and then I found this. I believe this is just oblivion. <laughs> um, and I obviously have to find out, but I, I don't want to do that with all this stuff on me. So I'm quickly going to jump back up to um, uh, my, my chest that I've got over here and drop off, if I can make it up there, and drop off everything in my possession. And then we'll see what happens. Alright, so I am now ready to venture into the abyss. You, per you might notice that my fist looks a little different, and I will quickly show you why. It was time for a skin change, um, and I've got Ryu from Street Fighter. Um, show you him my inventory. There were a few of these for me to choose from, and I, I chose, uh, was the more popular, and he's a little meaner looking in this one, uh, so I quite like it. I always call him Ryu. Um, I don't know if other people do that, but that's what me and my friends back in the day playing Street Fighter 2 uh, on, you know, the SNES uh, would call him, so I always still call him Ryu. Anyway, um... Sorry, Ryu or Ryu, but your first task is a suicide mission. So here we go. I have no idea. Whoa, it looks like it got brighter in color. Alright. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I think that might deserve a slow motion. Um, when I make the video. <laughs> that was funny. Um, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> um, looks like my, uh, spawn area got pretty populated. All I can do is punch him. You know what? Being that I have a Ryu skin, um, I, I feel as though his punches should do a lot more damage. That cow should just explode on impact of my fist. Oh, I've got a little workbench there. Um, I started making boats um, to take me to uh, my island, which isn't much further in this direction. So, so I'm gonna go back into the lava pit and recollect all that stuff was definitely worth um, seeing what would happen uh, if I jumped down into the abyss and I, I still can't wrap my head around it but these are all the boats from my many deaths oh or that can happen so that was interesting but uh, yeah I'll, I'll head back to the cave funny, I still hear these zombies in the same area. I never found them, I guess. Um, but I want to show you my signs because I'm so proud of them. So not only does this sign tell me where to go and it says going down, but, but look, I made a, a down arrow. I'm quite proud of that. And then right when I got down those steps, I have another one just with an arrow telling me to go to this way. These are more of my idiot-proof, uh... This <laughs> one um, down to lava. So this will bring me down to the lava. Or, or so I... I said to myself before. Uh, yeah, and it did that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, time to re-equip everything. 
Okay, so on my way back up, should be this way, I came into here and started hearing some water. So, yep, so I'm curious to see if I'll be able to punch into water. Um, yep, hearing it a little more. And I think that would be neat to see if, uh, see where that's flowing in from. I've been curious about that. big head in a tight area. <laughs> it looks really weird um, for Ryu to have a sword. See, I feel like I should be able to just do a Hadouken fireball. Just blow through this without having to dig. That's how cool Ryu is. Ryu, excuse me. <laughs> As you guys know, I am I am really not good at finding things um, based on sound. <laughs> so, see how this turns out. More dirt. I think that's a good sign. Oh. Lava and water coexisting? What is going on here? Hmm. Okay, I can get up. Good, good. Alright, so we've got... This is where, I don't know if all the lava is coming from here, but lava, some lava is coming here. What do I say about cold? Whoa. Always creepy coming to a new place and hearing that eerie cave noise, one of them. So, coal, redstone, and iron. Oh, that water looks pretty cool. See how it is parting? Right through the middle. It's parting to the right and then the left. That looks really neat. And of course, I see the iron and all that here, but I, I want to check this out. Ooh. Ow! I knew you can fall safely into water, but I guess... Oh! almost walked into the lava. But it has to be deep enough. I'm running against this massive current. So, I need to light this place up. Ha! Huh. Where are you coming from? Get a visual of this area. Is that a second uh, entry point for lava? Looks like it. Pretty neat area. I have to do something about <laughs> navigating the, those very deep waters. Alright, I'm digging it so far. Wish I had... Yeah, you guys are going to comment on it. <laughs> I'll say it anyway. I wish I had more wood on me. stairs. This is like the hub of all lava and water fall entry points. 
more redstone. Not really neat area. Oh, on fire. <laughs> kind of funny how I panicked with all this water around me. But that's the first time I've caught on fire. So, I guess it doesn't burn you too quickly. Can I peek around here without catching on fire? More coal, more redstone. Liking it. See, I'm guessing this is obsidian. That's why I'm seeing if I can break through it. Because I know that when water water touches lava, um, and the result is obsidian, um, which I know is a really very, very dense material. I'm sure I can't break through it with this uh, stone pick. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if iron will even break through it. materials are roasted. Yep, that's probably them singeing. That wonderful sound. Darn it. <laughs> well, I didn't have much on me um, in the sense of rare materials. I think the iron pick was the most valuable thing I had on me. So, no big loss. So Ryu has fallen into the abyss, and he has also he's also fallen into lava. <laughs> so as tough as you may look, you're getting your butt handed to you, which is of course not my fault at all. <laughs> 